And speaking of, you know, growing the team and the, and the future, Ryan, you know, if I was to say to you, you know, everything you want to happen will happen in the next sort of five, 10 years. Um, the World Your Oyster, what do you see you, uh, Dachi Motorsport, doing in that, in that time? I have a big ambition, a wonky goal I'd love to achieve, which is I'd love to be the first or one of the first circuit racing championships broadcast globally, um, but from Africa. I think that's such an untapped part of the world. Um, it, you know, we, our, our mission is to enhance social and economic mobility in steam through the means of motorsport. Mm. Um, and actually, when you look at African countries, they love motorsport, especially rallying. Um, and some of the stages that they've got over there, they, they're absolutely mad for it. She doesn't have the investment and the money, and not many people really know about it in, in, um, in sort of big chunks. So that's something I'd love to achieve. Um, I'd love to be able to make a difference uh, to not just young people, but generally those communities out there. And um, I've already engaged in some conversations to have some good African talent support our business as we look to grow um, yes. and you know for example providing some of that customer service you know why couldn't we use a couple of people from Africa who've got the skill sets who know our business and, and therefore you know use that as a, a way into that country to help us expand the business over there but equally support us in the UK as well and things like that um, and I think there's, there's one thing um, that and a fellow engineer said to me, who also is embarking on his own startup in, uh, in the design engineering space at the moment, he said to me, um, the one thing you've always got to remember, Ryan, is there's always enough to go around. And I think that's so true. Yeah. If, you, if I approach this, this business with you know, global ambitions, but equally I focus purely on how much money it's making, of course, we've got to, we've got to keep the business going. I'm not naive enough to know that, uh, to not yeah. know that, but... Um, I just want as many people to engage with this as possible and whatever form that then takes is the form that it takes. And, and yeah, if percentage of the, of the world's population Africa makes up, but I'm going to assume it's a very sizable chunk. I should probably know that number, but I've forgotten it. But yeah, uh, if, you know, if, if there's a, a big untapped market there, I'm, I'm going to do my best to try and, uh, to try and get into it and, uh, and really show that something different can be done in remote sport and, and entertainment space. That's great because I mean, I again because I speak about the podcast and yeah, you know, I, I try and help. I say I try and help people. This, I mean, I help people by producing media. That's the way I do it. You know, I can't, I yeah. can't do what you're doing because I've not got a background in engineering. But what I can do is facilitate conversations like these for people listening yeah. to then know about what you're doing. And I've had a few people from Africa message me on Instagram, whether they're real or not, who knows. But generally asking, <laughs> I'm from this town. How can I do this? How can I get into? It? And I, I mean, for me, I don't know about you, but I think LinkedIn's a great tool for like just connecting mm. with people in motorsport because i mean everyone they're from racing drivers to race engineers to pit bosses who are on linkedin yeah agreed and um i think it, we've I, I just recently got linkedin gold I'm, I'm i'm fortunate that we uh as part of our global sports innovation center membership we uh, also got uh, applied for and successfully got microsoft for startups membership as well so nice. i was able to get a little discount on linkedin gold so i can now maximize everything that can bring um, at least for the next four months anyway at this carriage rate. So <laughs> uh, I'm pretty chuffed with that. So yeah, but no, I get what you mean. And it's um, untapping platforms like LinkedIn and just the internet generally, I think um, it really allows you to connect with other parts of the world that I think feel so far away, but actually you can bring them quite close and you realize there's a lot of shared values and a lot of, um, a lot of progress and a lot of things that you can achieve together. 